wizards and the necromancers used to be the best of friends. They helped each other with their spells. They played together. All together, they were friends. Until one fateful day, when the wizard's spell went wrong. The wizard summoned a meteor, but it went horribly wrong. It blew everything up, and it was black. The meteor caused destruction to the whole of the world and the forest. The necromancer sent a message to the wizards by an eagle saying, you have hurt our people, now you have to wage war. Back in the wizard's lab, a meeting was being held on what, we should, on what they should do against the necromancers. The master wizard was making a speech. Everybody, we sh I shall go out and to see if I can defeat the master necromancer so we can stop this rivalry. I am going to take all my things with me and it's going to be a long and perilous journey. I, can't, I couldn't take any of you with me, it would be too dangerous. I don't want to have any of my subjects harmed. I shall go in at noon today, and then when I come back, if I do come back, hopefully the necromancers will be dead. The master wizard walked through many a land. The wizard was walking through the forest when he found a strange looking thing. Me, oh my, what is that? I wonder what happens if I touch it. Ah! When the wizard woke up, he noticed that all of his stuff was on fire. Oh God, what can I do now? I have to go into the um, enemy camp on my own. Oh, this isn't going to go easily. But still, I'm going to have to push on for my people. As he walked into the haunted forest, he found some things on the floor. <gasps> it's the necromancer's stuff. Oh, look. I have some more magic robes to put on. Finally. Ah, oh, and their weapon. I remember when we were friends how he played with this. It should really help me beat them. He was walking again until he found a strange-looking monument. Oh, that is their god, Hera. He gives them their power. If I could destroy that power, then they would be weakened and I could defeat them. Hmm. Hmm. I'll try shooting it with my book. Ah, oh, dang it. It didn't affect it. I'm going to have to use a spell to summon up a way to destroy the statue. Whoa! I crafted a weapon of the future. What happens if I use it on the statue? Hmm. Yes! It's been destroyed. That must mean that the necromancers are weakened. Now I shall go in and kill them all. <sighs> I'm going to have to go forward. Let's go. Oh God, there they are! I need to turn them all into skeletons. Finally. Ugh. There. They're all dead. I have vanquished an evil from this land. I shall get rid of all this stuff. Oh, God! They're still alive! I'm going to have to kill them. Wait there. Where was that weapon I had earlier? There it is! The weapon from the future! I need to take it up. Run! Aim! Fire! Ugh. Must kill them! No! He stole it! Ugh. Give it back! And Ugh. Yes! I have defeated the necromancers and their skeletons. I shall go back to the wizard party now. Yes. Hello, my subjects. I have come back and I have killed all the necromancer party. But I have discovered a new type of weapon and a new type of subject. It is science. No more magic and we shall use science from now on. Hooray!